गुड मॉर्निंग मैडि स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू मैडम ओके आई होप मे बी फाइन सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वाट वी हाव स्टडीड बेटा इन द लास्ट क्लास कंप्लीटली वी हाव डिस्कसड ओनली अबाउट दि प्रिपरेश ऑफ हालो ऑल के नाव इन दिस क्लास कंप्लीटली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू प्रिपरेश ऑफ हालो एरेन्स ओके ना राइट लेट अस स्टार्ट दी प्रिपरेश नंबर वन फॉर द प्रिपरेश ऑफ हालो एरीन और वी कैन से प्रिपरेश ऑफ अराइल हालाइड्स गुड सो नंबर वन मेथड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ना सो फॉर थ्योरी फॉर ऑब्जेक्टिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट इज नथिंग बट सैंड मेजर रिएक्शन विच रिएक्शन सैंड मेजर रिएक्शन by using the sand mayer reaction how to prepare the halo erines or aryl halides let us go for that so in sand mayer reaction halo erines are prepared by using the start making material that is nothing but bds benzene di azonium chloride c6h5 bonded to n2 cl okay na right n2 contain charge plus cl contain charge minus so we can say this is nothing but b d s the meaning is benzene diazonium salt or we can say benzene diazonium chloride now that bds undergo reaction with mainly two types of reagents one is nothing but cu cl in presence of hcl that means reaction with cuprous chloride in presence of hydrochloric acid and one more thing remember beta here in place of cu cl you can write cu2 cl2 as you wish and also here we can write cu br cuprous bromide in presence of hbr instead of cu br you can write cu2 br2 also okay na right beta so in sand mayer reaction first of all try to remember which mechanism is going on here benzene connected to n2 plus n2 plus means diazonium group diazonium replaced by cl chlorobenzene diazonium replaced by br bromobenzene like the two respective products we are getting first suppose n2 plus replaced by cl means c6h5 connected to what on n2 plus r but i am saying n2 plus replaced by what cl upon reaction with cuprous chloride so we have to be say that cl n2 plus replaced by cl means you are getting the product is nothing but what beta chlorobenzene chlorobenzene good and which gas goes to be released n2 we are replacing by cl means free n2 plus goes to be removed in the form of what beta n2 gas plus again same thing in second case n2 plus replaced by what br so we are getting the product is nothing but c6h5 bonded to br that means here we are getting the product is nothing but bromobenzene along with the formation of bromobenzene which gas goes to be released again same beta n2 this is your sand mayer reaction and in sand mayer here we can add one more reagent also c u c n cuprous cyanide in presence of kcn that gives the product is nothing but cyanobenzene but there are two points here i am not adding because of we are discussing about only halo erin preparation good now no. next go for another method discuss karenge apan you suppose that is nothing but bald schiemann reaction this is very important for objective point of view repeat it one and both bar repeat okay here bald schiemann reaction what is mean by bald schiemann reaction again same thing it is a property of benzene diazonium salt c6h5 means benzene benzene bonded to n2 cl benzene bonded to n2 cl n2 carries plus cl contain minus so this is nothing but bds benzene diazonium salt now that benzene diazonium salt in the process of what we na bald schiemann which process bald schiemann try to remember so in bald schiemann reaction benzene diazonium salt undergo heating with hbf4 undergo reaction with what na tetra fluoro boric acid reaction with hbf4 takes place now that h plus combines with cl minus and we can remove in the form of hcl remaining is what beta c6h5 what is the group is here n2 plus as it is h plus combines with cl and removed in the form of hcl remaining is what bf4 minus 
BF4 minus. Okay, na? So try to say again, it is also known as BDS. Isko bhi apun BDS bolke hi bolna. Because of benzene, diazonium, tetrafluoroborate plus minus within the compound. So we have to say salt. N2 plus means diazonium. Which diazonium? Benzene diazonium. Isko bhi apun benzene diazonium salt hi bolte na na. Followed by, but it is somewhat unstable form. Followed by upon heating. Upon strong heating, BF3, BF4, it goes to be removed in the form of BF3, boron trifluoride. And remaining one fluorine that goes to replace the diazo group means C6H5 bonded to N2 replaced by F. Here you are getting the product is nothing but fluorobenzene. This is the product in Bald Schumann reaction. Okay, what is the product in Bolsch Schumann reaction, beta? Fluorobenzene. Fluorobenzene. Okay, beta. And releasing byproduct is what? BF3. And releasing gas is nothing but what? N2 gas. Everything is same. Very good. Next, go for yeah, BDS to chlorobenzene and BDS to bromobenzene. Only chloro and bromobenzene are prepared from Sandmeyer reaction. And you should remember, they will ask you the question, fluorobenzene and iodobenzene, they cannot be prepared by Sandmeyer reaction. And fluorobenzene we can prepare by Bolshevik reaction and let us go for iodobenzene. Iodobenzene. How to prepare iodobenzene from BDS? Shall we discuss with Yeah. What is the formula of BDS? Benzene, C6H5 bonded to N2Cl. N2 carries positive, Cl carries negative. So we can say this is nothing but BDS, benzene diazonium salt. So now that BDS upon heating, upon heating with Ki, that means upon heating with potassium iodide. K contains charge plus, Cl contains charge minus, that goes to be removed in the form of KCl. Okay, na beta? Right. And free nitrogen is there. That free nitrogen goes to be removed in the form of N2 gas. After that N2, okay, now that N2 can be replaced by what? I. So, I adducts upon benzene. So, here we are getting our wanted product. This is nothing but what beta? Iodobenzene. So, like this, okay, now in that way, we can prepare what beta? All types of haloarenes. Fluorobenzene. Chlorobenzene, bromobenzene, iodobenzene, all four types of haloarenes we can prepare from BDS, from benzene, diazonium salt. But here preparation salt takes place in different different methods. Upon heating with Ki, iodobenzene, in Balzheimian reaction, fluorobenzene, and in Sandmeyer reaction, chloro and bromobenzenes. In that way, we are getting four different types of products. Okay, good. Yeah, next you go for another important reaction is for theory point of view you have studied so many times. Let us go, okay, let us discuss once again for objective point of view. Gettermann reaction. Gettermann is there, Gettermann coach is also there in all the heads, okay? But it is only what, Nana Gettermann reaction. Yes, it is also you know very well. Again here, it have to be take place. C6H5 bonded to N2Cl. What is meant by N2 plus Cl carries minus. So this is nothing but benzene diazonium salt. Benzene diazonium salts or benzene diazonium chlorides upon reaction with two respective reagents which are suggested by Gettermann. One is Cu in presence of HCl. One more is Cu in presence of HBr. Okay, na? right. N2 plus replaced by Cl, that means you are getting the product is nothing but C6H5 bonded to Cl. So, what product can you do here? Chlorobenzene. And again, releasing which gas beta? N2 gas. Here, same thing, N2 replaced by what? Br. So, we are getting the product is nothing but C6H5 bonded to Br. Nothing but you are getting the product is nothing but bromobenzene. Again, here, releasing gas is nothing but what? N2 gas. And free carbon, free copper combines with Cl, removed in the form of CuCl. Here also free copper combines with Cl, again removed in the form of CuCl. So in both the procedures, the common byproduct is same. CuCl, CuCl. Don't need to write as you wish. Here we n n2 common. So benzene diazonium salts on reaction with copper in presence of HCl that gives chlorobenzene. On reaction with copper in presence of HBr that gives what beta? Bromobenzene. So like that beta. 
Next go for, let us we are going to discuss about the preparations of haloerines in that another method. That is nothing but from, from, from aromatic, from aromatic hydrocarbons or we can say from arenes. What is mean by arene? Arene means from benzene. So from benzene, by using benzene, how to prepare the, okay, the halo arenes or aryl halides. Right, first of all, I'm going to show you the formula. Aromatic hydrocarbon, or we can say arene, that is nothing but first suppose, benzene. Benzene you suppose upon reaction with halogen, addition of X2, halogenation. And addition of halogenation takes place in presence of Lewis acids, that is nothing but anhydrous AlCl3 or we can say anhydrous FeCl3, like that we can consider the Lewis acids which can be act as catalyst beta. Okay, and here the reaction is nothing but ESR, very important electrophilic substitution reaction. Good. So from benzene, we are going to remove the one hydrogen. That hydrogen combines with X and that goes to be removed in the form of HX hydrogen halide after removal of that hydrogen that position will be vacant that okay no, vacant place occupied by another halogen another halogen means we are getting the product is nothing but same beta benzene but hydrogen place occupied by the x so we are getting the product is nothing but halo benzene or we can say halo aryl Okay, all of you. So in this process, what we are doing, electrophilic substitution we are doing. So in this reaction, try to remember the electrophile equals to X plus. What is the electrophile? X plus. X2, Cl plus is electrolyte. Addition of Br2, Br plus is electrolyte, electrophile. Like that we have to be considered. So during halogenation, what is the electro electrophile? X plus. Nothing but halonium ion. During chlorination, Cl plus. During bromination, Br plus and we are getting respective products once again benzene on reaction with cl2 in presence of al cl3 product is nothing but chlorobenzene if we take here br2 here we are getting bromobenzene if we take here i2 you will get the iodobenzene little bit different is there but try to remember like that only okay now nah? right now nah. so benzene can, can be converted into halo benzenes or halo arenes in the method is nothing but electrophilic substitution reactions good now nah, nah. So here what we are taking halogenation we are doing na beta. So which halogen is more reactive in previous class also I told you. F2 is more reactive that shows violent reaction. Okay. Yaha par mein ek main important pen bata rahu. So benzene with Cl2 it gives chlorobenzene. Okay na. Benzene reaction with Br2 it gives rise to bromobenzene. Benzene with I2 it gives iodobenzene. And benzene with F2 it gives what na na? Fluorobenzene. Like that we have to be imagine. But generally, remember, question was repeated so many times. Among the following, which halobenzene cannot be prepared directly and easily? Answer is nothing but fluorobenzene because of addition of F2 is, okay, now that reaction takes place due to more reactivity of fluorine, here reaction takes place more violently, nana. So, this reaction ko control karna itna easy nahi ho sakta. That's why try to remember Fluorobenzene, what beta? Fluorobenzene, fluorobenzene cannot be prepared. So by using this method, fluorobenzene cannot be prepared because of F2 is more reactive. Due to its more reactivity nature, due to its highly reactive nature, automatically we have to say that addition of fluorine, that means fluorination reaction, takes place what nana? Violently. Due to that reason, we have to be say that fluorobenzene cannot be prepared okay, na, easily or directly. Okay, na? Right. Next point I want to say that, okay, fluorobenzene to nahi chalega because of more reactivity and reaction takes place violently. Leave it nana. Next. What addition of Cl2 it gives chlorobenzene 100%. Addition of Br2 it gives bromobenzene 100%. Addition of I2 it also gives iodobenzene. But along with iodobenzene, here you are getting HI. What you are getting? HI. 
HI is more reactive. Due to its more reactivity of HI, reaction will be takes place. Irreversible way also. Jaise saamne chalega, aur isse piche aayega. Forward and backward, both will be takes place. Means again, reactant can be converted into the product in case of iodination. In case of iodination. So here I am saying one point. Iodination is which process with a reversible process iodination is reversible process but generally chlorination and bromination they are irreversible they cannot be comes back they will give stable chlorobenzene and bromobenzene products but in case of iodination you will get iodobenzene but due to formation of hi it will be comes back so no use of that okay na beta that's why iodination is reversible process Due to reason is more reactive HI. In the in that text place, what we are getting more reactive HI. So due to formation of more reactive HI, reaction goes to be takes place in backward direction. So reaction goes to be takes place in backward means again you are getting reacted. That means no use of that reaction. But we can use it. Iodination be upon kar sakte, but by using one condition, more reactive HI. more react to hi or hydrogen iodide i minus it can be changes into i2 it can be changes into i2 by adding strong oxidizing agents by adding strong oxidizing agents one is nothing but hio3 iodic acid one more is hno3 nitric acid one more is hgo mercuric oxide mercuric oxide so by the addition of any one oxidizing agent more react to hi hydrogen iodide it can be oxidizes into iodine after the formation of iodine reaction cannot be comes back means in that case you will get the iodobenzene i hope you understand Good, no, no. Yes, based on these reactions, based on this aromatic hydrocarbon electrophilic substitution category, I am going to ask you some questions. Try to say for different answers, Veda. Yes, in that question number one. Here I am going to consider same thing on benzene ring. And you suppose undergo reaction with six moles of Cl2. And you suppose reaction will be takes place in presence of ion hydrous AlCl3. And it is also same thing electrophilic substitution reaction. Just you see these two reactions. Here addition of Cl2 it gives chlorobenzene. But here for addition of six Cl2, okay na? AlCl3, AlCl3 common condition. Electrophilic substitution, electrophilic common condition. But here is one mole of Cl2 it gives chlorobenzene. And here is six moles of Cl2 it gives same thing by taking one Cl2, one chlorine attacks upon benzene. By taking six Cl2, six chlorines goes to be attacks upon six benzene. Good. So what is the product we are getting? Same benzene ring. I am going to be get. By taking one mole of Cl2, we have to take chlorine one and chlorine upon second carbon, chlorine upon third carbon. Means all the carbons they goes to be attacked by Cl. Means electrophilic substitution takes place. Upon all the six carbons, okay, na beta, right. So here in benzene, every carbon contain one one hydrogen. So remove that all six hydrogens, all six hydrogens they have to be removed from benzene. They commands with six Cl and they goes to be removed in the form of six moles of HCl. Six moles of HCl. Okay, come on, tell me what is the product, benzene. Benzene on reaction with six moles of Cl2. That means excess of chlorine. Excess of chlorine and in presence of Lewis acid AlCl3. But the reaction is nothing but electrophilic substitution reaction. And here we are getting the product is nothing but. Try to remember the product name meta. Perchlorobenzene. What is the product name? Yes, here the product name is nothing but perchlorobenzene. Try to say the formula. What is the formula of benzene? C6H6. Okay, na beta. Next. Here how many carbons are there? Six carbons are there. Let us write C six. And here how many? Is there any hydrogen now? Here no more hydrogen because of all six hydrogens they are replaced by six chlorines. So we have to be say that C six Cl six. 
what we can write beta c6 cl6 and also we can say it is nothing but double six molecule kya bol sakte double six molecule very very important beta okay na double six molecule formula c6 cl6 what is the name perchlorobenzene prepared by which mechanism asr by using lewis acid alcl3 or fecl3 from where benzene on reaction with less amount of chlorine excess of chlorine six moles of excess of chlorine beta okay related this i want to give you one more question again same thing here i am going to consider a benzene ring inside how many pi bonds are there three pi bonds are there due to presence of three pi bond to disappear then three pi bonds to disappear the three pi bonds here i am going to add three moles of chlorine three moles of chlorine but you suppose here reaction goes to be takes place in presence of sunlight in presence of sunlight in presence of sunlight means again electrophilic substitution reaction ah this is not electrophilic substitution reaction this is free radical reaction again this is substitution ah this is not substitution it is an addition reaction because of after addition of cl in presence of sunlight all three pi bond goes to be disappear so we can say it is a free radical addition reaction here also benzene with chlorine yahan par bhi benzene with chlorine but in presence of alcl3 we have to do electrophilic substitution and in presence of sunlight we have to do free radical addition condition ek hi change kiya reactants are same benzene with chlorine benzene with chlorine but alcl3 mein kya karna electrophilic substitution benzene ke upar substitution karna good and pi bond will be remains as it is because of that is substitution but here is substitution addition ah here is addition addition will be takes place in presence of by using free radical only in presence of sunlight na sunlight diye to free radical addition karna alcl3 aaye to substitution karna padega okay na good so ah uh, same thing na all the pi bond goes to be disappear i am going to write like that one mole of chlorine adox upon 1 and 2 pi bond goes to be disappear chlorine 1 chlorine 2 pi bond disappears another mole of chlorine adox upon 3 and 4 again pi bond goes to be disappear yahan par cl yahan par cl another mole of chlorine adox upon 5 and 6 pi bond goes to be disappear fifth carbon one chlorine sixth carbon another chlorine okay na very good right na na now tell me 3 to the 6 chlorines are there yahan par bhi 6 chlorines good what is the formula of benzene c6 h6 here also how many carbons are there six carbons are there how many hydrogens are there every carbon contain one one hydrogen and every carbon contain one one chlorine so what is the final formula c6 h6 cl6 so we can say it is nothing but triple six molecule be careful very very important okay benzene upon reaction with chlorine in presence of alcl3 that gives double six molecule by electrophilic substitution mechanism benzene on reaction with chlorine in presence of sunlight it gives triple six molecule formation of triple six is free radical addition mechanism and formation of double six is electrophilic substitution just try to remember be focus very important na alcl3 diya to esr karna that gives double six sunlight diye to free radical addition that gives triple six molecule okay na be careful very very important okay what is the formula of triple six molecule c6 h6 cl6 i am also we can say you know the name of this molecule is you know very well this is called gamma oxygen what we can say gamma oxygen i am also we can say one more name is nothing but linden kya bol sakte hai na linden what we can say linden right so bhc gamma oxygen gamma oxygen another name is called bhc kya bol sakte hai na bhc bhc ka meaning benzene hexa chloride bhc or triple six or gamma oxygen or linden all are same meanings and be careful very 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 important such gamma oxygen or bhc it can be used as or we can say it can be act as insecticide what beta insecticide very 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 important don't neglect beta so which type of bhc especially i want to say that gamma bhc a question bhi deep mein repeat hua which bhc alpha bhc gamma bhc beta bhc which bhc 
gamma bhc it act as what beta insecticide sir what is mean by gamma bhc gamma bhc it contain a configuration the configuration is triple a and triple e configuration that means in that bhc six chlorines are there out of six three chlorines they are present in axial positions and remaining three chlorines they are present in equatorial positions such arrangement bhc is called gamma bhc that can be act as insecticide a configuration be repeat hua na na so gamma bhc or insecticide bhc what is the configuration triple a triple e three chlorines are in axial and three chlorines are in equatorial try to remember like that na na okay na i hope you understand that so this is completely what preparations of halo aries from only benzene respect to compounds okay na good next another preparation i want to show you only two preparations are left na na one is nothing but rashik process ab tak tumne naam nahi sune honge but important for objective only because of it won't be come in theory na na it is not in ncert out of ncert beta important okay which reaction i want to show you rashik process rashik process so in rashik's process which compound we are going to be prepare one and only product chlorobenzene chlorobenzene let us see how first of all i am going to consider two moles of benzene two moles of benzene it upon acidification means reaction with hydrochloric acid and followed by oxidation by atmospheric a reaction takes place in presence of question repeated in ct and objective exams the question is what is the catalyst in rashik's process the catalyst in rashik's process is cucl2 what is the catalyst cucl2 question repeated what is the catalyst in sandmay reaction cucl or cu2cl2 but here is only CuCl2. So in Sandmeyer reaction, Q plus chloride. But in Rashik's process, this is nothing but cupric chloride. Cupric chloride acts as catalyst. Good. From the benzene, and from especially from first carbon or any one carbon as you wish, na na. Here and you suppose from this position, I am going to remove the one hydrogen. That H combines with again another oxygen from atmospheric air. Again, from this position, we have to be take the hydrogen. Let us see. Yes, here we are going to consider how many moles of benzene. Two moles of benzene. From one mole of benzene, one hydrogen. From second mole of benzene, another hydrogen. So, to how many hydrogens you are going to remove? Two hydrogens you are going to be removed. So, from here, two hydrogen. From hydrochloric acid, two hydrogen. Total four hydrogen combines with two oxygen, and that goes to be removed in the form of two moles of water molecule. And remaining how many C6H5 molecules are there? Two. So I am going to write that two moles of C6H5 or benzene ring as it is. But one of the hydrogen replaced by Cl. But here we are taking two moles. Here also two chlorines are available. So that position of H taken by the Cl and we are getting the product is nothing but chlorobenzene. So what is the product you are going to be get by using Rashid's process? Chlorobenzene, one and only product. Okay, statement. benzene upon acidification with hcl and followed by oxidation by air in presence of cupric chloride it gives the product is nothing but chlorobenzene what is the catalyst in rashik's process cupric chloride formula cu2cl2 na what beta formula is cucl2 cupric chloride and what is the product here chlorobenzene good na na last time final method of preparation that is nothing but hansi deker reaction or we can say borodine hansi deker reaction hansi deker bol sakte hai aur we can say borodine hansi deker reaction beta right hansi deker reaction or borodine hansi deker reaction in morning class also i told you we have to be take the silver salts of carboxylic acids benzene bonded to cooh benzoic acid but i told you silver salt means h replaced by ag so this is nothing but what beta is yes, it is nothing but silver salt of benzoic acid c 
silver salts of benzoic acid upon reaction with Cl2 in presence of CCl4. Or we can say on reaction with Br2 in presence of CCl4, as you wish. Cl2 or Br2. Good. Benzene connected by Cl. So we have to be say that chlorobenzene. Ag combines with Cl and that goes to be removed in the form of AgCl. Next, COO that goes to be removed in the form of CO2 or decarboxylation. So, what is the product here you are getting beta? Chlorobenzene. Now, once again try to say the statement. What is mean by hans dieker reaction? hans dieker reaction ka meaning silver salts of benzoic acid on reaction with Cl2 in presence of CCl4 gives chlorobenzene. Or we can say on reaction with Br2 in presence of CCl4 that gives bromobenzene. Byproducts Cl2 liye to AgCl, Br2 liye to AgBr, CO2 is a common byproduct nana. Okay all of you? Right. This is your hans dieker or Borod and hans dieker reaction. Last and final. Here I am going to consider a compound and you suppose it is nothing but what? Benzene. And benzene connected to COONEA. That means sodium salt of benzoic acid. Above one is silver salt of benzoic acid, and this is sodium salt of benzoic acid. And it contains at ortho plus Cl is there. Now to meta plus Cl, now to para, consa be plus by Cl, no problem. You will get the same product. Okay, let us see. So, what is the compound name? This is nothing but sodium salt. Okay. Sodium salt of which element is there? Cl is there. That means chloro. Sodium salt of chloro remaining product is nothing but benzoic acid sodium salt of chlorobenzoic acid sodium salt of chlorobenzoic acid it undergo reaction with NaOH sodium hydroxide in presence of supporting solvent that is nothing but CaO calcium oxide so the mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide this mixture is known as soda lime Come on, tell me what is the use of soda lime? Soda lime ka use ho sakta ki, it is useful for the removal of CO2. Nothing but for the purpose of decarboxylation, we have to use soda lime. Okay, na? Right. So, upon heating soda lime, we are going to remove this group. And last me khali kya bacha beta? H. That H will be attacks upon benzene. I am going to read benzene ring as it is. Two sodiums are there in here too undergo decarboxylation COO nothing but removal of CO2 takes place in the form of Na2CO3 Na2CO3 okay decarboxylation over and that position occupied by what H and already at ortho place what is the group is there Cl so this is nothing but what chlorobenzene so this is your product beta so what we can say statement sodium salt of chlorobenzoic acid Upon heating with soda lime, gives the product is nothing but chlorobenzene. Yes. So these are the preparations of what beta? Halo arenes. I hope you understand this clearly. So based on these preparations of halo arenes, again I will send you along with video, I will send you the some objective questions also. Try to make practice better. Uh, don't neglect. So many times I told you. Okay, na? Yes, you are not preparing for theory beta. You are preparing for, okay, na? CET. You have the time only two months. Okay? Uh, dual digest area na padega. Then only you can do some. Okay, na? Then only you can get anything beta. Okay? Right. Yes, here I am going to ask you one objective question based on this preparations of Halloween topic. The question is Benzene on reaction with Cl2. Benzene on reaction with Cl2, reaction takes place in presence of what beta? Anhydrous AlCl3. Anhydrous AlCl3. And what are the products you are going to be get? That is the question number one. Next year I am going to write question number two. Again same thing here I am going to be take benzene. But you suppose benzene undergo here I am going to be take taurine. In both the cases taurine beta. Taurine on reaction with Cl2 in presence of AlCl3. Here also same thing, toluene on reaction with Cl2, but here the condition is nothing but sunlight. Be focused, don't neglect nana. Okay, both are important questions. Toluene with chlorine, toluene with chlorine. Just I am changing the rea reagent. By the change of reagent, automatically reaction goes to be changed. Okay, now let us see how. In presence of AlCl3, what will be takes place? Electrophilic substitution reaction. 
In presence of sunlight, what will be takes place? Free radical substitution reaction. Okay, na? Right. From case 1, answer for 1. For first question, answer I am going to be show. Toluene of our reaction with Cl2 in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, it undergoes the procedure electrophilic substitution reaction. That means in presence of electron donating group. Cl plus adapts apart ortho position and adapts it what on a para position. It how many products you are getting? Two products you are going to be getting. Anna. So for first question, answer is we are getting two products. Benzene connected to CH3. CH3 is nothing but electron donating group. Electrophilic substitution takes place in para position. What is the electrophile? Cl plus we are getting here. And one more product. Same thing, Nana. Here also we are going to be getting what? Benzene. Benzene connected to CH3. Again, CH3 is nothing but electron donating. Electron donating groups are nothing but ortho, para, direct. Para is okay, one more is nothing but ortho. So, what is the first product name? First product name is nothing but para chloroxaline. And second product name is nothing but ortho chloroxaline. Okay. Arthochlorotaulin is minor product due to repulsions and parachlorotaulin is nothing but what Anna? major product. This reactions you know very well. Go for last and final. What is the reactant Anna here again? Benzene connected to CH3. So answer for second question. Again here I am going to be same thing Anna. Yes, it is nothing but which ring beta? Benzene ring. Okay, benzene ring I have taken here. It connected to what is the group? CH3. Nothing but taulin. Try to remember this pending body. In presence of AlCl3. Electrophilic substitution of Cl plus takes place at ortho and para. Good. But in presence of sunlight, attacking of chlorine takes place only upon side chain, not upon benzene. In presence of sunlight, try to remember. Okay, now maybe upper methyl or maybe above group ethyl, whatever that may be. Okay, in presence of AlCl3, substitution at ortho and para, but in presence of sunlight, chlorination takes place only on side chain in presence of sunlight that means one hydrogen combines with cl and removed in the form of hcl remaining chlorine attacks upon side ch3 means ch3 becomes what ch2 ch2 bonded to cl so this is your product the product name is nothing but benzyl chloride i hope you understand okay na towel in plus cl2 towel in plus cl2 al cl3 the samjo substitution at ortho and para Sunlight the samjo chlorination takes place only upon side chain, not upon benzene. I hope you understand this. Our green topic beta. Okay na? I hope you understand. Try to make practice better. It may be useful to you. Daily, daily practice karte raho. Okay na? Good luck beta.